Before you see the truck, I need to say thank you to our the sponsor of this entire build, World of Warships. World of Warships not only donated. this truck back for our range day to shoot. I also told them, hey, I want to rebuild this, and they said, we want to sponsor the rebuild. World of Warships, top tier, champs all around. So please go play it, because they are so awesome to sponsor this whole build, which is, it's gonna take a lot, a whole lot. Have you ever wanted to command a massive Navy fleet with some of history's most iconic vessels? Well, now you can. Even better news, right now you can use my code Demo Ranch and you can get seven days of premium account time. That'll get you 1.5 million credits, 500 doubloons, the USS Texas, and a free choice of Clemson, Phoenix, Wyoming, and Langley after you complete 15 battles. World of Warships takes pride in creating super realistic scenarios within the game, with each ship being historically accurate to the real thing, and each battle makes you feel like you were there. Each warship needs a naval commander to lead it into battle, and they have tons to choose from, including many legendary historical figures, as well as some of your favorite fictional ones. You can battle on more than 40 maps and there are over 20 ports to choose from. 10 of them are even recreated based on historical harbors and port towns. They even use weather effects to make each battle unique and unpredictable. Each week there is something new to experience with a steady flow of new missions, game updates, and events. Not my Hummer. World of Warships can be played on PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and mobile and has an active community that brings people of all sorts together. Also, not my Hummer. Now go download the game using the link in the description and use my code DEMORANCH to get all these awesome perks. Now let's check out this truck. Predator Motorsports in San Diego, California. We're back, flew in today. What's up, Ryan? What's up, dude? How you I, been? I've been good, how about you? Good, man, good. Flew in today so we can check on our baby and let me tell you, I've already, I've already peeked at it and it's further along than I thought it was gonna be. I know you were skeptical about where we stood. Yeah. Like when I was talking to you on the phone, you're like, okay, so where is this at? I was like, it'll be ready when we come out <laughs> here. I guarantee you, I got some cool stuff to show you. You do. I didn't show you at all. No, he hadn't showed me. So they've been doing some work. First of all, that is going in today. We'll get back to that in a minute. Um, Cause let's just, let's show the, the body work. Yeah, which is good. funny, usually when you think about body work, you think about like everything's perfect. We specifically wanted to leave this thing not perfect. So. It has been buffed a little bit to make it not so sharp. I don't know if you guys remember, we, uh, we did this to it. And I wanted to leave all those bullet holes, but they were very sharp. Very sharp, like, everything on it. You walk past it and it just grabs you. So they did all this body work, basically knocking in anything, that any sharp metal sticking out and then also sanding it. So like, if you do kind of go in these holes, it's not sharp metal. And then it's painted as you can see. So it is a, a really cool like OD green with a little tint of brown in it, which is what I saw another one painted like that. And I was like, yeah. I want that color. And, and a little metallic flake too. Right, yeah, and it has a little metallic. And it's also, so it's, it's Kevlar, so it's all kind of rough as well. Yep, yep. So it's a super tough coating, which also I would assume kind of helped to make it not sharp, because it's yep. gonna cover those sharp edges as well. That was really important, because you couldn't yeah. put paint on this. On top of that, like, right. the paint wouldn't adhere properly to all the sharp edges. Yep. You wouldn't be able to get it in here. But this is like super thick. In essence, it's kind of like a bed liner. It's like yeah. a, very specific blend using Kevlar and some polyurethane components. Long story short is it flows like bed liner, so it kind of fills in those Yeah, holes. And I mean, you gotta think, we're, we're leaving this kind of stuff. Like this is a huge hole. And some kid's gonna come up and poke it and you don't want him to pull back a bloody finger. No. And so this is nice. Like they actually spent time <laughs> sanding all of these edges. I mean, I'm sure there's still a spot you can cut yourself on this thing, but this kind of stuff is all gonna be out in the open. People are gonna get in over this hump right here. Okay, maybe we need a. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> no. Well, no, you can't get to this. Oh, that's because covered. Because we have the cages. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. That's true. And then you're gonna have God, a little bit of power. So cool that. that too. So I was telling Ryan, I want my cars to tell a story. This one tells a story. Yeah. It's I mean, true. look at this. We were also, as we were walking around a second ago, I was like, I didn't think about like all those holes up there, bullet holes. That's right where the tire will just throw muddy water on you. So it'll just shoot right through there. So we may actually 
on these on the underside. Put some sort of rubber liner or something. There's gonna be no doors, we're just gonna have like Jeep bar doors here. So if it's raining, you're gonna get wet no matter what. But maybe you don't want like the gross, oily, muddy water throwing up at you. I don't. Well, you're not gonna have know. mud coming in from this angle unless you're doing something that you shouldn't do. True. Most of the time it's gonna be coming through here. So right. Yeah, for sure. God, I like this paint a lot. So this is the bad side. Uh, Ryan did say we can salvage the doors. So they got the doors all painted as well. Those those yeah. are good. Which is really good because you can't get those doors. So we yeah. have to create something more. This is a wagon version of the Hummer. This is a Hummer H1. This one's a 2006. It was a Hummer H1 Alpha, which is the only year they put Duramaxes in here. And uh, yeah, we shot it up. We shot up the best Hummer that they ever made. You did a good job of it too. Thank you. I, when you <laughs> called me and you showed me the pictures and you're like, I want to rebuild it and this is my, my vision. I'm like, Awesome. You were like, haha, good one, buddy. And, and what did I tell you? I gotta call you back. Yeah. I had to spend like two days thinking about really process it. Because I don't want to take on something that's not possible. Yeah. What do you say now? I'll let you know in a couple <laughs> <of> minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so today, uh, this is the first time I've seen this car since you guys saw it last, um, where I dropped it off, and it was terrible. They've done all the body work. Like, I'm scared to do that, but it's fine, I yeah, guess. Yeah, no problem. Like, I'm, we sanded the outside, yeah. inside, and then we got in with the file in, be in the hole itself. Jeez. Filed out the hole. They did a ton of work on this thing, and then coated it. So, body work is done, and we're gonna actually pull the body up today. They've actually painted the frame, they've replaced all the suspension components that were broken. There were springs that were shot in half. I'm sure there's more. Yeah, we'll probably find yeah, some more. Probably. But frame's got fresh coat of paint, suspension's painted. They're gonna pick the body up today and we are putting engine and transmission in there. Let's go look at that. Ooh, before we look at that though, uh, I got Corbo to send me some seats. So these are seats straight from Corbo. They were sent here, so I have not seen these things yet. And I picked some that have a little two-tone action. I think it's gonna look really good with that green paint. Yes. Oh yeah. That looks good. That does look good. So these are Corbo Trail Cats. Ugh. And as you can see at two-tone, we got black and beige. I wanted uh, that to go with the green because there's gonna be no doors on this, so you'll be able to see these seats really well. They do a really good job of that. Yes, <laughs> it's packed really well. Nice. Oh, these are nice. They look good. Yeah, feels real good. Ugh. All right, those are not going in today. I just wanted to unbox them and see what they look like. All right, Ryan, tell me what you got here. Duramax is LBZ. So LBZ is, in my opinion, probably my favorite engine variant for the Duramax. It doesn't have all of the emission stuff on there that the later ones have. Um, however, it has everything that you want to have. The prior years weren't quite as robust, quite as strong, and you're going to have people out there say that it is, but why don't you do this, this, and this, but this is a great platform. LBZ Duramax, we did um, a custom ball bearing turbo up here. Oh, so yeah. it's going to spool up faster, it's going to give you more horsepower, uh, more torque, importantly, and then we did uh, 20 over on the engine, forged pistons, forged connecting rods, uh, PPE, exhaust manifolds and up pipes, which really just equates to better flow. Yeah, looks um, awesome. It's they, cool, it has those two that flow into that. That's, that's yeah. neat looking. They also do a carb certified too, so which is really cool to do. Um, everything on has been remanufactured, blue printed engine, we ran it in our dyno, broke it in, we have a braking procedure for the dyno. I got some footage for you here. Yeah. And so what we do is we oscillate the RPMs up and down based on this program. We literally just get it on there and get it idling and then we hit enter on the program, we run this program which goes for a couple days, brings up the RPM uh, at varying degrees but it also increases load. So we put on like 10% load and then we bring it up to 20% load and then 30 and so on. So that's the proper way of breaking an engine. So all that's been done and then uh, you provided us with uh, Randy's transmission trans. I don't know the details, like what stage it is, but it is built for um, the power that this is gonna put out. It should be right around 1,100 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, and it's gonna be nasty. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll so, be a really good solid yeah. record. Big thanks to Randy's transmission. Um, we have a Randy's transmission trans in Earl, must my 2500, 2012, 2500. And we also have it in the ranch tank, which is, that's an insane power stroke engine. And 
Randy's is holding it down, no problem. So I uh, love working with these guys, they're awesome, and I'll uh, link them in the description below as well. But we got a, a bad man pajama. A lot going on today, for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna get throw her in there. The truck for the first time. Yeah. It was, it was crippled. Oh, this is awesome. And now it's kind of, it's getting its heart and soul. Well, we back. gotta show what's going around the outside of it later, but we'll wait until they're underway here. I wanna say a couple things about Randy's. Um, they're known for their Dodge transmissions, um, but they also do, of course, do power strokes and Duramaxes as well, which now I have one on all three. Been around since 2008, and um, they are known for, yeah, they can, they can take it. They, will take trucks that are pushed to the limit. So Allison transmissions are super well known. Um, this is an Allison. And they're known for their strength, but they are susceptible to failures, and Randy's takes them and addresses these failures to make them even better than they were before. Their stage one and two builds have a two-year unlimited mile warranty. Their stage three and four builds have a one-year unlimited mile warranty. Uh, and that's because those three and four are geared to performance. Uh, we're people a lot harder on them. This is actually a stage three trans, um, and this one is rated for 900 horsepower. Which this thing, when it's all tuned, will probably be around 500 horsepower and like 1,000, 1,100 foot-pounds of torque. It's gonna be a monster, but this thing will easily handle that. So, big thanks to Randy's. Not only does this thing look amazing, I have no doubt it is going to be amazing, because this is my third Randy's transmission. I love these freaking billet plates. How good that looks. Beautiful engine that was put together right in that room over there. Beautiful transmission. And now we're gonna put it in this friggin' soon to be beautiful Hummer. And nice seats. <laughs> I really can't wait to put seats in this thing. I think I'm gonna do it right now. I wanna see the color next to the green. Dude, I love it. Obviously it's sitting on the floor right now that's normally on a riser. Um, but yeah, you can see how that tan is going to just go straight with that green brown color. Woo I love it. And so actually we got the same seats Front and back, the fronts will be on sliders, the backs are gonna be fixed. Everything's gonna be on risers though, so you're not like sitting on the floor. But, dude, this truck, it's gonna be so good. And it got me a Baja Designs hat, because the Baja Designs guys are here, they actually have their shop like 10 minutes away from here. So I said, hey, come by and check out the progress, because we're gonna put Baja Designs lights all over this thing eventually. has a big bumper unit on the front. Ours also had that. It also has a roof rack on the top. Ours also had that. On this one you can see how they fold forward so then the hood can fold forward, but let me go show you ours. Here's my roof rack. You can tell because it's well ventilated. Here's my bumper. You can tell for the same reasons, but those are gonna go back on the truck. They just haven't, you know, sanded them so they don't cut people. And there's different styles of roof racks. Here's one. I don't like that one as much. This one is the one that I have on mine. I, I think that's the best one. That's actually made by Predator, and it's freaking great. Some of them have no roof rack, they just have an arch around the window. Here's another type of roof rack. Just looks kind of flimsier and weaker, not as beefy as that one that's gonna be on mine. Here's another one, even flimsier and weaker looking. And this one actually has a little bit of a an exoskeleton around the back of it, so it actually welds to the bumper, this bumper is actually made by Predator as well, Well, it's to the bumper and goes around. And then some of them actually have full exoskeletons that go all around the whole truck. I'm sort of doing a mixture of everything. We're gonna have that roof rack right there, cleaned up, 
painted with uh, the same Kevlar kind of coating, but it'll be all black. So it'd be like, just like bed liner kind of, but with that Kevlar coating. And then I'm also gonna have that thing on the back, which is actually right here. This one's mine. So this will go on the back. Doors here, that's your back bumper right there. They're currently making this one, that's why it's all in bare metal. It's brand new, they just made it just for my truck. And then these, which are actually really cool, they have skid plates on the bottom, so obviously Hummer's a little wider than this, because that needs to be spaced out right there. And then I have another little ladder skid plate that goes in the middle. But this will be right side, this will be left side, and these will go down the side of the car. So that's the back wheel right there. This is gonna connect in here to that back bumper system, and we'll have a little half exoskeleton wrapping down the side of the vehicle. That's your back door, front door, and then this thing will end right here, and then that will sort of be the part that's on the front. So this truck is almost exactly what we'll have. We'll have the roof rack, it's exactly like that one. We'll have the back exoskeleton, exactly like that one, except now we will also have the one that comes down here, down here, up in between these, up right there to finish out. And also, it has mine has rock sliders. This one does not have rock sliders, but mine will also have that exact same bumper on the front. These are the rock sliders right there that will go down the side of it. Made of friggin' thick metal. And then up front, above the windshield, we'll have plenty of room to mount lights up there, plenty of room to mount lights here. See this guy's got a bar up here, he's got some light bars here. This guy's got a bar, a big bar, another bar. Another bar right there in the bumper. This guy's got a big bar here, and then he's actually putting some Baja Designs LP9s right here on the bumper. Those are the big round lights, which are gonna be sick. We have a pretty good plan, it still may change, but we're thinking LP6s, big round lights, all up top. So in place of where that light bar is, I want like several big round lights across the window. I think that'll be sick. All right, we are gonna throw the body back on because now the engine transmission is set in there motor mounts bolted it's time to put this body back on it and see what it looks like with an engine in it also here's our hood you can tell it's our hood because of all the speed holes in it <laughs> so the bullets are all coming at this angle so they're all so cool and we decided to just leave it they kind of like sanded a little bit this is a fiberglass hood so all the hummer hoods are fiberglass and so you can see it kind of splinters so they sanded it and there's only so much you can do with fiberglass when you're sanding it, but, I mean, we're just leaving all the holes. I think it's cool. And new hoods are really expensive. So I like the one with the holes in it. You can tell these are ours because of the holes. Yep, that was on there before. Yep, that was definitely on there before. This Hummer will never be like new, but there is something to be said for something that was total trash. This thing was bad enough that it could have gone to the junkyard. No person in the right mind would spend money to fix this thing up. But thankfully, I'm here with the backing of World of Warships to spend the money and fix this thing up. All the time and all the money it's gonna take to do this is made possible by you guys watching, by World of Warships sponsoring, and by my crazy brain for thinking that this is a good idea. It's a great idea. It's really crazy to see a bunch of new stuff on there. I need to get some new wheels and tires on this thing ASAP because it would just really set up. It has these old like random truck tires that Willie and Steven just found and let me borrow or have. There's no way they're getting them back. We're not gonna ship them back from California. So we need some big wheels and tires on this thing. We're gonna put 40s on it, I think. This thing has, I think these are 38s. So it's gonna have even bigger tires on this thing, which will look so good. All right. Going down, let's we'll see what she looks like. The last you guys will see of the Randy's transmission, Allison transmission, it's about to be covered up for a long time. There's also still a lot of things that need figuring out. Like for instance, pretty sure this is where the air goes for the air conditioning. It like has to suck it through here, but there's there's like holes. There's, no, there's holes in places that shouldn't be holes. Like, I don't think that hole's supposed to be there. So, there's a lot of like little things like that that you patch so that, you know, the air conditioning works and it's not just like sucking air in and then blowing it out not in the cab. Which is not a huge deal in here because the door's gonna be open, but I still want AC to blow like on me. Because it's Texas. Oh, you're strong. <laughs> yeah, this engine is like tucked back in here right now. That is why 
the engine actually survived. So we actually got it running on starter fluid after we shot it all up, um, which, I mean, it was hit with tons of 50 cals, and it's still only like one thing pierced the engine, and it was just in the top of one of the heads, like right at the very top. It was the only bullet that made it in the block, which is crazy, but it's because, and I guess it was designed like this, obviously, it's, it's supposed to be tough. That engine is hiding way back in the middle of the car and it has all of that front stuff around it blocking. So you can see the front of the engine is almost behind the front wheel, which means the front of the engine is right here. All of this room, not engine. Hummers are a very, very unique design. The engine is set way back, not out front like a normal truck, way back in the middle. Also independent front and rear suspension, so there's not one big axle going through. You can see the axle goes up there, um, and so totally independent front and rear suspension and portal axles. You can see where that axle comes in right here. The center of the wheels actually drop down here so it has gear reduction hubs. So it goes in at the top and then is geared down here so it gives you an extra few inches of clearance right there because your axles don't have to go down as far. So on this one, it's not on a lift, you can see that you cannot see your front and rear differentials. They're all in there, but they're tucked way up high because portal axles. So all of that ground clearance is extra thanks to independent suspension and portal axles. And the other unique thing about Hummers is they have so much ground clearance, but they're really not that tall. It's as tall as a normal truck, and that's because the whole body is sunk down around the chassis and around the driveline. So you can see as you're sitting right here, there's not room for middle seats here because that's where the whole driveline is. The transmission and engine are coming back in that box right there. And then you have a these guys, no respect. Then you have a fuel tank in there, you have your muffler and your exhaust system in there, you have your drive shaft in there. Everything needed is tucked in the center area and you sit next to it instead of up on top of it. Normal truck, you're up on top of your gas tank. In a Hummer, you're sitting next to it. So super good ground clearance without being a really tall, lifted, top heavy truck. And we got her in. Man, that's a tight fit. Look at that, it's perfect. But yeah, your engine is, I mean, coming right back in here. That's your turbo right there. Exhaust is dumping right there. And then they have a big cover it goes over it. You don't even realize your exhaust is basically coming through your cab. Ryan, do we have to put a cover over that or can we leave that open so I can watch the engine as I drive down the road? In the middle of Texas summertime, you definitely don't need an engine cover on it. You. You're gonna be fine, nice, <laughs> nice and Nice cool. and warm, and I'm just gonna straight pipe it. I don't want any pipe on that, just let it blow. Oh, you know what we do? Just duct it, like, duct one over this way and one over that way, because it gets cold in Texas. Yeah, right? heaters, yeah, yes. Heat you up. Yep. Genius. <laughs> so crazy. Um, yeah, this, is this any good? Yeah, that's... Yeah. What did you guys do? It wasn't me. I swear we didn't do it. It for sure was not it me. It up like that. <laughs> uh, it was some um, bullets that went awry. Can I get this one? Jeez. It's like it's flipping you off. Yeah, it's a good little connector. Ryan, what is next? What's the next step on this thing now? I think we're done. Yes. We're done. Driving her back to Texas yeah, today. It's gonna be okay. Need a tire, otherwise it's fine. Need one tire, maybe a little pro spray paint down here, and you're good to go, bro. Yep. Yeah. We were just figuring out a bunch of details off camera. We were talking about turn signals up front. Did he leave that light back here? So. No, he took it out. Uh, we're trying to figure out which which tail light. So that is like a newer style tail light on this one, which I like. This is like kind of a real modern style tail light on this one. I don't like that. I like seeing the red. I don't hate it, but I just, I like the old school. And they had an old military style one that we put up there and I actually like it the best, but I have no idea where they just put it. Anyway, we're doing a bunch of like detail stuff like that, trying to figure out what the dash is going to look like. Got to get rid of all these wires. Oh, this is cool. So. We're gonna have those door bars that I showed you that go with the exoskeleton that goes all on the side. So there's gonna be a weird gap here between that pipe. So they made these out of billet aluminum that will fit right over there, a little step to bridge that gap between the pipe and the car. Oh, it's literally in the truck. <laughs> yeah, set it in there, that looks cool. I like that style the best. Looks kinda rugged, military. Right? Here, let me, uh, I think so. let me uh, wipe it down real quick, that way can... Uh... No, it's fine. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah, we're good. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, though. Appreciate you.
No, it looks good. And with this color, whoo! Yeah, so what do you think? OEM here, OEM H1 right here. Oh, that's actually what they came with. Yeah, that's oh, H1. gotcha. I thought that was an or upgrade. Military, OEM military. Yep. Or aftermarket over here. Gotcha. Yeah. This one looks too fancy for me. Uh -huh. I don't hate it, but it looks too fancy. That one's cool. I like it. This one's better. That one's just right. It's just right. just right. There's no backup light in there, reverse light, but we're going to have bumper lights, and so we'll just hook those white lights on. So we hit in reverse, it'll turn on. No big deal. It's sick. Yeah, it's right. sick. I like this. This is my favorite line from this truck. Sweet. 100%. And we can do matching ones in the front, too. Yep, perfect. You have some cohesive feel from the back. Yeah. It's going to be sick. So, what goes next? Interior, bodywork? Like, I guess you don't so, bodywork, but. So, we have to. We need to make a fuel tank. And by we, I mean not me. Yeah, we got a lot. Okay, <laughs> There's where, a lot. Where do I start? The list is like pages long. The list is not as long as it was last time I was here, though. It isn't. It isn't. We got a lot done. I think the next step is we got to fill these holes. Not necessarily yeah. fill them, but plate them on the back side so yep. we can get water through. Yeah, because right here, like, this would just like splash right into your lap. And that's easy. We can still have the holes. It'll look good. We'll have back plates back there. Yep. In here as well, the inner fender well. Yeah. So it doesn't come inside the cab. <laughs> that's, there's so many holes there. And all this would just splash and, water straight in there. And stop all the heat from the drive yes. coming inside. So we're going to have no doors and we live in Texas. And so that's my biggest fear is just heat. We will have air conditioner, but no doors. And so any heat we can eliminate is better. So like yeah, all these holes, heat's going to be coming out of there. Your muffler's in there. Drive lines in there, transmission's gonna be hot. So we're gonna try to fill all those holes so heat isn't just coming up through the floorboards as well. Yeah. So that's the next step. We have to get that done first, and then we can bolt down the body. So we're actually gonna have to lift this body back up, get yep. that done, drop the body back down. Once that's done, come up to the front and get the cooling step. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> brakes. We're going to replace all the brakes. So I don't like the fact that you had so many rounds coming in here. I mean, look at this brake line has to be replaced anyways. Why? <laughs> it's good. Just, it's we'll fine. We'll be fine. On now. Just wasting money. This is what mechanics do, guys. They just get you to waste your money. Like, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure he did that. <laughs> <laughs> so new brakes, pads, calipers, all new brake lines, and then from there, I think we're gonna be ready to put the cooling stack in, wire it up to the truck, and it's not coming apart. Sweet. Then from there, crazy. on to all the accessories and case. There's so on. much stuff. HVAC would go on next, glass would go in, the rest of the interior stuff. Cool, well, I'll be back in two weeks when you're done. Alright bro, I appreciate it. Man. Yeah, just wrap it up. <laughs> Wait, did you say two weeks? Yeah. That's no what you that's what your guy said you could do it in two weeks. Oh, Pretty well, sure. I keep on telling them that. Like, you got two weeks, get it done. <laughs> that is your Hummer H1 Alpha update. Big moves as you can see. Getting there. It's way further along than it was. And uh, it's gonna keep going. So we'll be back out here probably next month sometime. See how much progress Ryan has made. Get a lot, Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I'll see you next time. Oh. I'm on fire! Oh. Oh. Hey, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare.